Oh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Big Fry. And I cover a plethora of early access, first person, third person shooters, everything indie, AAA. We, we kind of bounce around. Lately, we've been playing a lot of very, very terrible early access games on Steam because that's what you guys want to see. And today, we have another one on the go Easy Red 2. Crazy thing is, this is getting positive reviews on Steam, so we're going to check it out here. But before we do that, today's video is actually sponsored. So today's sponsor is Ridge Wallets, the minimalistic, sleek style, aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber wallets with a whole bunch of different colors to choose from. If you guys have business cards from people you don't really care about, clogging up the wallet, just declutter your mind. Try something different. Are, are, are you keeping old Taco Bell receipts? from three years ago, just in case you want a refund on the cheesy gordita crunch combo meal. Get rid of them. You don't need them. Check out a Ridge wallet, ridge.com slash big fry. Use code big fry at checkout for 10% off your order, plus free worldwide shipping. These guys are huge supporters of the channel. I love their products. I use it every day. I don't keep a lot of cash on me, so these are perfect for me. If you guys want something to give your father, your mother, your sister, your brother for Christmas, anybody who uses a wallet could probably use one of these things. Just get rid of the chunky, clunky, old man wallets from the 90s. Get rid of them and get yourself a Ridge wallet. Thank you guys for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to it. All right, so Easy Red 2, it's developed by Marco Amedai, Amedai and its publisher is Corvo Studio. Uh, the game is currently in early access and it's being sold for, uh, looks like $6 Canadian. So, I mean, I'm going in with not the highest expectations, $6 game, early access, uh, looks like a single developer. So let's, let's see... <laughs> Let's let's see what it is. Third, in, yeah, I don't. The the text is throwing me off, bro. Third Infantry Division, uh, Infantry Fire Team. I'm just gonna be a. I'll be a squad leader. Sure. Here we go. All right. So we played a World War II game the other day, and like, not that this looks great, but it looks better than that one. The fact that I'm moving my head, and not my gun, kind of scares me. Gun not in the hand. All right. Here we go. Oh God. Oh, dude, this is totally realistic. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Covering fire. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, hold on. Yo, ADS out of sprinting is terrible, bro. What the hell? How's this getting positive reviews? Oh yeah, dude, I gotta read the reviews after this. I can't jump over the walls? That's pretty... Pretty lame. So yeah, at, it's weird. Out of sprinting, your character like throws his gun to the left. David O'Neill. Okay. All right. Select next team member. Uh, sure. Okay, I guess I'm this guy now. Bro. Come on, man. Oh, he, he's dead. Uh, uh, oh, now he's not dead? Oh, this game's so clunky. Oh wait, open. Can I jump in to here though? They really want you to go the the one way. Jesus Christ. Bro, this is fucking jank. Oh, it feels so bad to play, bro. Oh, it feels bad to play, bro. Use bandages from your inventory. What's my inventory? What? What's up? What is all this? Uh, stop bleeding. What the hell? I got a... <laughs> what? Gotta reload. Great animation. Like, I know it's early access, but come the fuck on. Oh, sniper? Oh, God. Okay. I'm actually impressed that the scope looks as good as it does, if I'm being honest. But it's weird, like... 
the ADS speed while you're moving is so it's so uh it feels so static if that makes sense. Okay, let me go over here. Cause I know they're down the street. What? Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh lord. Bro, it's- it feels so shitty to play. How is this getting positive reviews, man? And it has like quite a few reviews. Covering fire? Covering fire! Yeah, that's just- that's definitely just the devs' voices. Honestly, if you- if you want to play a game like this, that has a much like better and more consistent art style, uh, you guys gotta try Blue Drake's game, uh, Warfare 1944. It, it has basically the same gameplay loop, but it's not, it's not clunky like this. And like, this just feels like a whole bunch of assets put together. Whereas theirs is like a, like a developed game, you know? Jesus Christ. This guy was literally running into a corner. For six dollars, how do you complain? But I, man, like, I just, I feel like there should be like a, like a standard <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, there, this looks like it could be an itch IO game, right? Somebody wants to create a game and have a hand at developing, you know, an FPS like this. Put it on itch.io for free for people to download, right? Have a donation button if somebody wants to, like, give you some cash and do so. Like, it's, I don't know. I, I, I guess I shouldn't be trying to hold Steam to a standard anymore because uh, there obviously isn't any. But, like, holy fuck, man. And like I'm all, I'm I'm all for you know developers being able to post their stuff anywhere, but I don't know, dude. It just it it felt like Steam at one point was like the place to be, and now there's just so much garbage everywhere. Covering fire! I'm hurt. What the uh. fuck was that voice? I'm hurt. Ah ooh, ah ooh ah. The gunplay is so bad. This guy is stuck. What the fuck? Wait. I love how when you just jump to the AI, you can see how stupid they are. What's he- wait, what are you throwing a grenade at? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Crab walking. <sighs> Group. Holy fuck. When two opposing forces collide. What the fuck? Covering fire. Oh ah! god, okay. A oh, fucking conga line. What the hell? Uh, dude, like they're almost all positive. We're gonna read we're gonna read that one in a little bit, but there's a lot of them that are just like, dude, like step up from the original. I never played the original, don't care. This game is the only World War II sandbox FPS shooter. Focus on the world word sandbox because the game will eventually get a level editor and multiplayer. Dude, 186 hours. Here are the game's highlights. Weapon handling is realistic and fun. It isn't. Voice acting is good compared to the original. The voice acting was trash. GUI is user friendly and looks unique. No, this is all lies. <laughs> Straight up, bro. The AI is very challenging and compared to the original, it is a huge, bro, the original must be just god awful. Oh, here we go. Easy Red 2 Community Moderator. Got it. I only played for a while and have fun, of course. 0.6 hours. Wow, must be really fun, bro. Oh, there we go. Smart boy right there. Plus rep, good man with excellent English. Okay, yeah, we're starting to peel the onion. This guy product received for free. Robust World War II tactical shooter. Made me rage, but was totally worth it. All right. 
game is in early access, so not all features are included, like multiplayer. Somebody may say it looks like a game from 2002, but this is the game for the people with weak PCs, cost 5 US, and is practically free of bugs. What? Have potential to be something that could replace hell- COULD REPLACE HELL LET LOOSE OR POSTSCRIPTUM FOR EVERYONE WHO LOVES WORLD WAR II FPS BUT CAN'T AFFORD GOOD PCs TO PLAY THEM. GIVE ME A FUCKING BREAK. So there's smart boy again, friends with smart boy. So literally, these guys somehow have like a fan base of people that are just boosting the numbers. I don't know how, but all of them are connected. Associated games? Oh, wait. A front too far in Normandy. What's this? Wait, what? A World War II game in an open world RPG style. It came out 2018. Same studio. Bro, it looks like the same game. It's the same models. Yo, how many games do we have here? Easy Red comes out 2017. Pr probably shit. We got Wrecked came out 2018. Then we have A Front Too Far Normandy that came out 2018. Literally almost a year uh, after Easy Red came out. Then we got Animal Fight Club, which came out... Oh my god, bro. Came out April 19th, 2019. And then he dropped a DLC. And then he dropped another game basically a year after this. It's Raining Fists and Metal. And then he dropped Easy Red. Dude, he's dropped a game uh, every year. Animal Fight Club? What the hell is this? Oh my god, bro. And this has very positive reviews. It made me laugh for less than $3. Worth it. Enjoyable but sadly short-lived. Unavoidable bug greatly hinders your game progression. It's a very fun game, all memes aside. It's fun for 30 minutes. Fuck this game up. Vote. Yeah, so it's just memes, bro. That's all it is. See, guys, we're, we're, we're learning something every day together. There's apparently an audience of people that that buy these games for the memes. They must be the, the children who who don't like Fortnite and just like uh, edgelord. Uh, there, there's this underground culture that I, I guess we're... Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Listen, my name is Big Fry. Uh, if you guys enjoy the videos, leave a like on them. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so. We're killing it right now. Uh, maybe I should just take a moment to thank everybody who's been watching the videos. It's nuts right now. So, like, thanks to everyone who is literally, like, just leaving likes and comments, the engagement. Obviously, that's what's going on with the YouTube algorithm right now. If you get a lot of engagement really quickly, whew, shit flies to the heavens. I don't know, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to become a YouTube member, 99 cents a month, you can literally support the channel directly. But if not, just know I do appreciate you guys so much for, for just clicking on the video. If I sound tired, it's because I'm trying to crush all of these shitty early access games into like a single week. Daily uploads for a week, and then I'm going, I'm going to sleep for two days, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.